everyone, this is Impulse, and welcome back to the SMB server. And check it out, the beam is still gold. Do you know what that means? <laughs> it means we won. We won the latest competition. On Tuesday night stream, the gold team pulled out a victory. We did some ABBA caving with a twist. It, we do it in the nether called NABBA. And we're going for glowstone and, and nether quartz ores and... Uh, gas tiers and blaze rods if you can get them, things like that. And very limited weapons, no fire potions, resistance potions, things like that. Uh, so you do have a pretty good chance of dying. It is a lot of fun, but uh, yeah, gold team won. So added a point, we actually had a competition after that that we call Who Do the Minecraft Gods Favor, where we used Fortune 3 picks to, to mine all the, the quartz ores that we get and see how much we get out of that. And the team that had the most uh, ores won. So we won both of those, settled the score four to four. Amazing. And look at this. Look at this. Gold blocks all the way around. <laughs> oh, gee, I wonder why. <laughs> so I was sitting here at spawn admiring the scoreboard, and it hit me. I really have not shown you guys a lot of what the other server members have been up to. Uh, you've obviously seen everything I've been doing and some things that the other members of my team have been doing because I'm, I'm in the base and things like that. But I mean, there's a lot going on guys. <laughs> Look at this. I, I know I've seen, I've shown you just kind of parts of it, but there's an entire spaceship being built in the sky here slowly, but surely, but there's a lot of other stuff. There's a lot of other stuff I haven't shown you. I want to show you this. This is something really cool. The Duke Minecraft built this like the first week he was on the server uh, because the Duke is going to be working on our nether hub, which is going to be just insane. Uh, it's, it's, I've seen it. He sent, he sent us pictures of it in creative, and it's, it's just beautiful. It's going to be the most beautiful nether hub you've ever seen. But he got on the server, and he's, he realized, I'm going to need help getting supplies. So he built this. Donate supplies below for the nether hub. And... Here's how it works. <laughs> so this is a toilet, right? You can tell it looks like a toilet. Uh, but there's there's a little secret to it. You can actually, it's a little bit tricky. But if you get in the toilet and hit the button, it drops you into a secret room down below. And this is where he's actually collecting stuff. He tells you what he needs, quartz and andesite and pumpkins and things like that. Uh, and so here's some chests for people to donate. And it looks like he's grabbed everything because he's actually started the the nether project and uh, if you want back out you just walk on this pressure plate and the slime block will bounce you out of here we'll do that in a second but duke's a sneaky cat man he thought he could hide himself a base a little underground base up in here and it's just right here it's right behind this block there's a button check this out i'm gonna i'll put that back later <laughs> there we go so that opens up and we can walk down in here and duke did all this uh, so Duke's got tasties, fancy stuff. What is that? Tasty. Uh, he's storing supplies for him. So I don't know if it's just for himself or for his team. He's got lots of stuff in here. Ooh, I heard something open. Did you hear that? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh. That's interesting. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That means there's pistons under, under all these. Something's going on here. I wonder what. I wonder what's happening. Hmm, I'm not quite, ooh. Oh, ho, 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 that was awesome. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He just, he must have left it open. Look at this. Oh, wow. Wow, that is cool. <laughs> That's cool, three by three door. Wow, dude, nice job, man. I'll, I'll close it on my way out. Nice, and he's got a little arbor stand waiting for you. Uh, tight space in here, but this is cool. He's got some water streams. Let's see what this, where this goes. Oh, got another little door, a little slime block door. That's cool. Nice, nice. I like it. And over on the right here, it looks like he's got a pumpkin farm going on. Is it just pumpkins? Looks like it's just pumpkins. He's growing pumpkins and basically harvesting them. It looks like he's got a, a bud switch here. And as soon as they grow, the slime blocks pull it up and then the carts swing by to, to pick them up. That's cool, that's cool. <laughs> Let's see, is it all, looks like it's, well it's hard to tell, I guess you can't tell, but 
He's got this going all the way down. Man, that is <laughs> tight squeeze in here. Looks like he's got, what do you got here? Storage system going on. It's probably got item sorters, I'm assuming. Yep, pumpkins. Some, ooh, potatoes, carrots, seeds. Hmm. That tells me he's also got like a nano farm. He's got a villager in here. Let's see, what is he trading for? Got a farmer. Okay, so he's trading all the stuff he's probably getting from his nano farm for emeralds. Oh, and pumpkins too. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, perfect. So he's got everything you need to trade with this farmer in here. That is cool. All right, what do you got here? What do you got here? Got a mine cart on a track. Let's check this out. We're going to go for a ride here. Oh, oh, I missed my I missed my ride. <laughs> come back. Come back. Oh. He showed me this or I saw this in a video, so I know how this works, but we're getting it. Boom, bounces us up and, <laughs> and now we're like up a level. That's pretty cool. And I think you just come up here and that resets it and you can fall down. <laughs> I don't know what happens to that minecart. I don't want to know. Oh, okay, so we're we're back outside that that room here. <laughs> oh, there's just the one pressure plate. I see. So yeah. Oh, cool. And look what else he's got a uh, skelly spawner down here. Looks like he's got figured out there water trap. Probably brings it over and crushes it or something. I don't know. I don't know where it leads to. Let's see. There's stuff all over here. He really fills up every little space with something. <laughs> that's awesome uh, oh they must fall down into here yeah there we go up the up the elevator they fall down into here oh uh, he's got like a little is that happening automatically oh okay pressure plate so if you're standing on it then you can punch him into the lava okay I see I see oh yep you get the XP too perfect neat neat <laughs> so yeah Duke has been has been busy love the flooring too that looks amazing <laughs> Let's see if we can find our way back out of here. Don't know if he's got any more to show us. There we go. Okay, I told him I'd shut the door. <laughs> that is just so cool. Uh, and then we're back out. Okay, so here's how you get out of here. Boom, slam block, bounces you up. <laughs> Shh, we were never there. We don't know about your secret base, Duke. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, sun's going down. Let's see. I'm afraid to go up in the spaceship. Tell you what, ooh, look at this. Just random bed over here. We'll go ahead and utilize it. I don't want, I'm going to go in their base. No, they're not on the server right now. So I don't want to go in their base at night and have creepers blowing up their stuff. I'll feel so bad. But I want to go check something out. There's something over there I want to show you guys uh, that's really, really cool. And then we'll go up in that spaceship and check it out because it looks like it's got a lot going on. So, all right, let's take a nap here and then I'll meet you at the next destination. All right, guys, we are here. We are at Mobbin's Sugarcane Farm, and it looks like he has not harvested this thing in a while. You can see there's some mine carts running down below. Um, the way this thing works is actually pretty genius. Is It's using slime blocks. It's using like a, the flying machines, and they're going to go across and basically knock down all the sugarcane except for, you know, leaving the bottom layer so it can regrow. And so he's relying on the, the flying machine to actually do all the harvesting and then just sweeping underneath the ground there with the mine carts. And you can see he had to put water in, obviously, for the sugar cane to grow, but you also he's also having the carts go underneath. The way he did that was he put ice in and melted it. And so basically, if anything ever updates those water sources, he's going to have a huge mess under there. Uh, but everybody kind of knows about it, and so everybody's super careful. So I'm basically standing on top of the button here that sets this thing off, and I asked him if it was cool if I harvested it, and he said it was cool, so let's give it a go. Press the button, and there they go. <laughs> that is so cool. Flying machine just harvesting. Looks like he's got one, one row there that doesn't get done, but... <laughs> That is so cool. It's going all the way across, knocking them all down. And then you can see, it looks like, oh yeah, you can see they're already dropping off the ones they picked up. Um, so he's got the deal at the end where it's just dropping off the items. That is so cool. Man, There's <laughs> that's going to be a pretty big haul. It goes all the way down and then it should come back and basically dock itself right back here. Uh, so it's ready for next time. His plan was actually to put it on a timer to where it would just automatically harvest every once in a while. But then he realized that uh, we're, we're outside the spawn chunks. 
And so, you know, it's the it's not going to run at all times. And what would happen is if the chunks unloaded while this thing was flying, it would just stop flying and he'd, he'd have to redo the whole thing. So um, may look into like doing a chunk loader if we can get that working or uh, for now just leave it manual. But it's so cool. Such a great idea, Mobbin. <laughs> Props to you, brother. All right. It is back. I have no idea where the sugar cane actually goes. So <laughs> I'm... Let's see. I guess we could try to look. Let's try to look real quick. Okay. So it looks like a bunch of hoppers. Okay. So it's flowing into this chest here. So I wonder if he's just got the one chest. I, I'd imagine that would overflow. Uh-oh. Did I get myself in trouble here by... Okay. I got to make sure I'm not going to update any, <laughs> any water sources. That would be tragic. All right. So, yeah, really cool. I wanted to show you guys that. I just was super impressed when, when he showed me this and the idea of using flying machines to harvest sugarcane I thought was absolutely brilliant. The next place I want to go is I want to go up inside this spaceship. And I don't exactly know how to get in there, but I did notice this. Looks like he's got an item elevator. Um, so if I put... Oh, I forgot to put that stair back. I'll do that later. Yeah, it looks like if you put it in there... Let's see if it goes up. Yep. So it looks like a way that they have to get all their items up, and I'm guessing, or, or I'm not guessing, I can see right now, there's a storage system up there that I want to go check out. So let me figure out how to go up into the spaceship, and I'll meet you there. All right, I found it. It looks like they had it linked up with portals. Got some dogs up here. Man, this thing is absolutely huge. <laughs> that's amazing. Ooh, that's a lot of quartz, too. They are not messing around. Okay, all right, here's the thing. Um... I'm, I'm a little bit afraid of heights, uh, so this isn't going to work out for me, but oh my gosh, let's see. Yeah, I guess I could possibly live if I fall and land in water. Okay, let's go across this totally safe one wide bridge of dirt <laughs> into what looks to be a massive storage room here. Uh, this storage room was built by Rex, and it looks like they're still working on, on getting the uh, items. Let's see, do they actually have, oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, it looks like it's sorting already. I wonder what happened to uh, to my item here. Oh, it's just floating, okay. So it looks like they're still working on, oh, I, I don't want it that bad. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, still looks like they're, they're getting everything. That's actually one of the harder parts of doing a storage system is setting all the filters. It's just such tedious work, but, but this is cool. This is cool how it just kind of integrates with with the whole kind of hall here in the middle. Looks really good. Looks really good. Nice and compact job. Rex did a great job on it. Um, kind of zip crowd-ish, but he did change it. Obviously, you can see uh, it is a little bit different. Cool. Uh, <laughs> what do we got going on here? Oh, my goodness. Looks like the interior of the ship here is being done. A lot of sea lanterns. Hmm. I guess that tells you something. We might need to go check out the Guardian farm here. It must be working. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like they're using sea lanterns. I love the I love the uh, colors here. The gray with the blue wool and the quartz. Looks really good. I'm not sure what all the cakes are about. And they got a little bit of iron going on. Hmm, looks like iron was a limiting factor for them, <laughs> I guess. So, cool. Yeah, this thing's going to be absolutely massive. I guess this is going to be their base. This is their entire base is going to be up here in the sky is their plan, I believe. So, oh, dark again. Man, how fast the day goes. So, awesome, guys. I cannot wait to see this thing done. This is obviously a massive, massive project. It's got, like, the uh, engines on the back here, too. <laughs> really cool. Really cool. All right. Well, I guess what should we check out next? Should we go see the Guardian farm? I guess we could. Let's go see if it's working. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it is. They got a lot of sea lanterns. All right, I'm going to go to the Guardian farm, and I'll meet you there. I was on my way to the Guardian farm, and I was walking by this, and I figured I should show this off, too. This is a, a huge smelting machine thingy ma bobber. It's a big industrial smelter uh, that I believe Grafoniac built. And I think the way it works is you put your items in there. I, I don't know why they're all on right now. It looks like somebody was smelting something and it's all done. Oh, it looks like some stone. Uh, you put all your items in there and then it gets distributed uh, evenly across all the furnaces, I believe, is the way it works. Looks like this one's out. Out of lava. 
And they're just putting lava in manually. That's why it's down here in the nether. Just come out on this bridge and collecting lava and then putting it in there. And, uh, yeah, yeah, so we can s smelt stuff quickly. So thanks, Graphoniac, for setting that up. I have not used it just yet. I'm going to kill this guy. That's one, one thing that makes me nervous, all this glass. It looks like, looks like there already was a, a little bit of a catastrophe there. But uh, I am going to continue heading to the Guardian Farm, so I'll see you there in a second. All right, I'm just arriving here at the Guardian Farm, and this is still a work in progress, guys. That's why we haven't shown it. In fact, this is actually the second Guardian Farm uh, that we've done. Rex did one, and it was a lot smaller than this, and just the rates weren't weren't great on it, and so we decided to go with the bigger version, the the uh, the one that Doc M and, and Zip Crowd came up with together, and we're, we're doing that style instead, where it's basically taking up just about the entire area uh, that Guardians can spawn in. And what are you doing on there, buddy? Where are you going? <laughs> See ya. Yeah, we'll be getting your drops too. <laughs> So yeah, we we saw, I showed you this before how we dug this out, but Zintac actually has been the the main person pretty much solely working on this. He had to dig out since we went to the bigger version uh, that's using fall damage now. He had to dig out even more layers. He put in tons of track. Uh, it's turned off right now. I'll go ahead and turn it on, and we can start to see those carts go. Oop! Some carts are faster than the others. <laughs> And oh yeah, you can see this thing's got pretty decent rates, and and I'm not even I'm not even standing in a place that's that's totally mob proof. We still have I'm sure there's caves around here that need lit up, and I you know ideally we would be on top of it to to kind of move our spawn bubble up. <laughs> Look at those carts now, they're all in different places because they're dropping items off like crazy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so let's see. Yeah, so he's going with a, a really cool look. I like it. He's got like a, like using leaves and, and mossy stone and things like that and green glass and kind of making it look like this used to be an underwater structure that just got mossy and, and then and broken down and now the water's been removed and basically what you have left. But a uh, long ways to go on it, but we do have a functioning guardian farm now. In fact, I want to see... I want to see the drops here. I know they're not incredible right now, but oh, okay, here you go. You can kind of see his pattern he's laying out on the ground. I think it's going to look really good. Uh, let's go up here. I know he's got this hooked up to an item elevator, and boom, look at that. Look at that. Items are flowing in. Get lots of fish. There's our prismarine crystals and shards so we can make the sea lanterns and the new blocks. Uh, just got the glass ele item elevator here that I'm sure you guys have all seen by now. And uh, I think he's, does he have a hook to a... Sorting system? Nope. Looks like I might have to come in here and hook up the sorting system as well. So that's no problem. Need to just make sure this is where it's going to be in its final state. But yeah, yeah, the Guardian farm is just about done. Zintac has been rocking on this thing. This has been a huge project that I can't believe he pretty much took on by himself. Um, so <laughs> props to you, Zintac, for tackling something this large and staying at it, man. <laughs> this thing is going to be so useful. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. All right, so finally I want to show you something that Fallen had done. Uh, he really did this early on on the server. We have inside of this funnel thingy here, you probably already recognize kind of the, the shape of it anyway. Inside there, you can hear him, is a blaze spawner. Uh, so you've probably seen me using furnaces around the base, and they were filled with blaze rods. Now you know where they came from. We got ourselves a little blaze spawner. It looks like he's just doing a pressure plate. Uh, pre yeah, probably a pressure plate and a repeater and a block, and then it's doing the trigger the pistons there, it looks like, to push him down. So let's go in there and let's see if this thing is working. Um, guessing it has a crushing system. Okay, so it gets him down to a one wide, it looks like, and then comes in here and just AFKs. What do we got in here? Like everything's about about empty in here. Yep. <laughs> uh, so all right, we'll give it a test here. We'll see if the crusher works. Just kind of hoping a couple more would fall in here. Oh, there we go. We got a few more coming down. And crush them.
All right. Ooh, I got a looting sword. I might as well use it. I know they're probably one hit kills anyway, but <laughs> might as well. All right. So there you go. So I want to show you guys this too. Actually, not too far from that spawner, but far enough away that they can't be joined is another blaze spawner. Um, so I was starting to clear out the room when I found out that Fallen had had his going. Oop, uh, time for me to leave. <laughs> and I, I, I was at least trying to see if they would just fall down in here on their own and it d didn't really seem to work too well so I'm probably gonna come back through here and uh, turn this into another blaze farm uh, there's a design I have in mind I've seen that I, I'm itching to use I want to see how well it works it's a 1.8 design um, I don't want to give it away but I'm sure some of you guys have already seen it because uh, you guys are usually usually up to date with all the happenings on the uh, YouTubes with all the Minecraft innovations. But anyway, I uh, can't wait to show you guys that design. I'm not sure how long from now it will be before I actually start making it. Ooh, what's up, buddy? I'm seeing these guys a lot more lately. A lot more lately. It's so weird, though. <laughs> they should actually be sitting on top of the chicken, I think. <laughs> not sure if they're going to fix that or not. So... All right, let me head back. I want to show you guys the the uh, facility and just kind of give you an idea of some of the work that's been going on in there, and then we'll wrap things up for today. So I'll see you over there. All right, I'm not sure if I've shown this off, but I did install a safe drop shaft and a minecart elevator uh, so you could fall down into the facility and then work your way back up a lot quicker. I was just getting so annoyed taking the ladder up and down every time I needed to come up and get stuff and come back down. Um, so you can see, got all the villagers in. I don't know if I've shown this off, but we've got tons of villagers in. Uh, listed down what books they sell. It's so got pretty much everything. Uh, it would be nice to kind of go through here and just try to get, you know, a looting three guy and be done with it. Efficiency four guy, be done with it instead of kind of having all these lower level and uh, lower level guys but uh, my idea is that I want to put in a library right here so I was playing with some designs um, not in love with it yet I haven't decided but I used all that XP I got from the gold farm uh, when I would AFK there overnight and I'd get like 400 levels and I went to town on book enchantments it looks like some of the server members are already finding them useful <laughs> so I got lots of books I just want to create a library to put them in now and I think that'll look pretty cool and we've been trying to get it to collect enough iron to make the entire first floor you can see that we're not quite there yet we got just a little bit more to go and I'll tell you this guys we decided as a server that we're actually going to build an iron titan <laughs> just because well I guess it was kind of my my idea. <laughs> With all the iron that I want to use in the facility, yeah, I think we need an iron titan on the server. So uh, we're going to get that going. We decided we wanted to build it out of some of the new uh, prismarine type blocks, and so we had to get the guardian farm done first. And I think... Once Zintac's done with the Guardian farm, I think he's going to tackle the Titan, too. Man, that, that guy, he just likes tackling big projects, I guess. Um, so hopefully he doesn't get burned out with these huge projects and he keeps going strong. But, uh, yeah, things are coming along nicely. Coming along nicely. We, we are getting rich with all the trading, all the gold, all the XP. Um, I'm actually starting to stack up some emeralds, which is nice. I am low on diamonds, so I might actually have to go branch mining and stuff. Uh, haven't done a lot of that pretty much at all, other than you know digging out this area for the facility is where I got you know all the diamonds I have now. But once we get a Titan, we'll probably tear down that the, these iron farms. I don't see a, a reason for them. Uh, unless I want to keep just the villager breeder part, but uh, haven't made up my mind on that yet. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me today. I know it was a bit of a talky, bit of a, a showcase, you know, server tour type episode. Um, I just, I'm going on vacation actually uh, tomorrow, leaving tomorrow. So I, I needed to get you guys a video out so you wouldn't be an entire week and a half without one. And uh, I figured we'd accomplish, uh, you know, two things. Get the video done so you guys have something while I'm out on vacation. And I just felt bad that I haven't shown off all the stuff the other server members have been working on. So if you if you 
thought, you know, their stuff was pretty cool, which it all was, you should really go check out their channels. I got them all listed in the description. You might as well just go sub to those guys, too, so you can see all the happenings on the SMB server. And uh, as I've shown, they do some really, really cool things. So, anyway, I want to thank them for allowing me to show off the things that they've done and for, for doing so much on the server, making it a better server. And thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, if you did, hit that like button. Let me know that you did appreciate it. And with that said, I will see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone.